Tom and I, we grew up in the same part of New Brunswick, uh, in the Fredericton area, and we really connected over fly fishing for salmon. I saw him as this aspiring writer who was, you know, really well educated in a lot of the themes that I was covering as a, as a photographer and this, this interaction between um, humans and, and the natural world. Uh, that was kind of his specialty from more of a philosophical standpoint. These are two right whales. And this one has its mouth open and he's, and he's, and he's feeding. They feed on really, really tiny things. We said, why don't we pair together and do some stories about salmon conservation? Come in. And you know, we had some really good success at that. Tom actually won the Atlantic Journalism Awards. Best magazine article. Whoa. All right, we're free, you can pull her up. As a photographer, I prefer to work with someone who can be on the ground with me and see the things that I'm seeing and have the experiences that I'm having. Yeah, the whale's right here. I think that the story of the North Atlantic right whale, it's symbolic of the human crisis with nature as a whole right now. We are pushing our activities are pushing the species to the brink of extinction, but we know exactly what we need to do to stop it. It's in our power to stop it. We know what needs to be done. And that is at the same time the story of global warming and resource degradation. So there's a very universal theme in the particular story of the struggle of the North Atlantic right whale. Nice tail shot.